Okay, maybe a little bit of a Kool-Aid check as the Lions and the Colts play, or excuse me, practice together, joint practices. Joint practices probably started, I don't know, probably, I don't remember it always happening. It's kind of like 10 years ago. Uh, you just join up with another team and um, practice, and you got your ones, you do individual drills, you can do a lot of different things. So by all accounts today, the Lions lost. They just lost the day. The Colts won the day, individual drills, one-on-ones. Um, and then when the ones went against the ones, offense, defense, and vice versa, the Colts were just better than the Lions. So got this from Pride of Detroit, was following them. They, they were reporting on the things that they were seeing. M live. Pat McAfee was actually live um, from the joint practice. And he's a Colts guy, so he's you know going to amp it up. But he had stuff to amp up because they were doing really well. He was excited. He, he, he saw big plays from both the offense and the defense of the Colts. So let's dive in a little bit more, see, see what happened. And um, you tell me if this is something we need to be concerned about. If it's a good thing, it's a bad thing. Uh, let, let's take a look at it. So the first thing we'll look at is um, let's go to the offense. Let's, excuse me, our defense. So the Colts, and I'm going to go to the Indy star actually. So I'm going to get the Colts perspective on this. And you can just see right away. So Matt Ryan finished 10 of 12 with three touchdown passes and they did anything they wanted offensively. And I, I think that is our big concern, right? That's our thing that we're looking for as Lions fans. Can our defense hold up? Um, I, I don't I don't know. You know, we saw the, the Rodrigo stuff and hard knocks. I don't know if Rodrigo is a great great linebacker and he's standing out or if it's just everybody else in that linebacker room so low that he does stand out i don't know we have a lot of question marks on defense we go and play the colts boom right down the field it just is like man i don't like that so then the next one let's look at how our defense or excuse me how our offense did so you look at our offense and a lot of the one-on-one -on -one drills here you look at quitty pay uh, remember him from Michigan. They do one-on-one -on -one pass drills. And then the Indianapolis defensive line spent most of the period running over the Lions front five. So Panay Sewell and Frank Rag now did pretty well, but everybody else struggled against the Colts speed and power. And if you look at it here, it says it was just about every Colt that they threw out there was able to win their pass rush and get to the quarterback. So Man, a little concerning there too, right? Like I thought our offensive line was kind of the strength of our team and all this. And it's like, again, I, I wanted to get a different perspective, looked at the Indy star, but that's really what I saw and heard throughout the day that it just didn't go well for the Lions. So here's my question for everybody and I, you know, comment on this. Is this a good thing or is it kind of what we worried about? And what I mean by that is if it's a good thing that, hey, we need to find these things out, right? We, we've been going against ourselves for so long how do you know where you are compared to other teams? And, oh, by the way, the Colts are a good team. They're expected to do a lot of good things this year. They've built a really good roster. They've always had kind of this really good roster these last few years. Andrew Luck leaves, you know, whatever. Don't care about their story. Just know that they've got a good roster. They're a good team. They've got a good rushing attack, offensive line. So it's a good test for us. So the fact that we really struggle is not really necessarily surprising. And it's something that, hey, it's an okay thing to get this out now. I'd rather find out that we're areas we need to work on now versus week one. But I think it's a, such a wake up call for the Lions because there's nothing but optimism and, and just, and every team right now is, is in that where you're just excited. You're excited. You think, Hey, look at this guy's healthy. Everybody's healthy. That's everybody across the league. Everybody's healthy. And so to see the lions be on hard knocks and Dan Campbell is just pumping full of, I mean, just the positivity that everything looks good, good, good. It was it was a wake up call for, I think lions fans. I mean, again, it's a practice. I'm not going too crazy here, but th they just, they were better than us in every way. And of course, you know, we, we had some highlights. You see, um, you know, you see some things, um, you know, on our social media, so a couple of plays, but overall, I mean, Frank Wright was like, I, I, I loved our offense. I loved the way our offense looked. I thought all of our quarterbacks did really well. I don't, it's like most coaches are like, yeah, you know, I gotta, gotta get better. The Colts, coach is like i love it i love what we did today and it's like man it's a little bit concerning but it's also something where it's like i think it's something that we needed to experience because the lions defense 
is not there. It's not there. And we need to find that out now. We need to go through some growing pains now rather than the first one, two, three weeks of the season. Now our offense, I think that's it. You know, you can have a down, a down practice or two. That's, that's going to happen. And I don't, I'm not super concerned about the offense. I mean, we just know, look at our offense, look at our offensive, look at, look at the weapons. I mean, we're going to be fine, but we're not there yet defensively. And someone said in the comments, and it's so true, you can't fix the line. The lines were in bad shape. They really were in bad shape after Patricia, Brad Holmes turning the ship around. You can't fix everything in basically two off seasons. The first off season that Brad Holmes was here was kind of like shedding bad con- contracts, getting us ready to then make the momentum up. And then the second year off season did that, picked up some big time players, Aiden Hutchinson, Jameson Williams, Chark, St. Brown's emerging. You know, you've got it coming along, but man, it, we're not there. We need another draft cycle. We need another free agent cycle because the linebackers, we've been saying this, the linebackers is is really concerning. And so for them to go right down the field and still you got Okuda, you got some different things on the on the secondary that's got big questions. So let me know in the comments your thoughts on the Colts just just doing whatever they wanted today. And if it concerns you or if you're excited to see kind of what day two looks like, because they have another day together. So we'll see what it looks like. But man, it was is definitely a game where or definitely a practice where the Lions um, just couldn't hang with the Colts, and I'm excited to see what they do, if they can respond. And again, the Colts are a good team, but that's how you want to measure yourself. The Lions are feeling good about themselves. We'll see what happens. So let me know in the comments, and we will see you on the next one.